Out of nowhere, Ronnie is nicked for the murder of Carl White. Roxy admits she dobbed her in, while Ronnie has a mad panic in the back of a police car. Phil tells Roxy she's no longer a Mitchell, but what's happening to Ronnie? Sharon tells Phil he has to man up, but brought low by Ronnie's arrest, he hits the bottle, and Sharon is crushed when she finds him steaming drunk. Honey tells Billy it's her or the Mitchells. Of course, he says all the right things, but later has to help Jay and Sharon get Phil home. Sharon locks Phil in the bedroom to stop him drinking, but she's forgotten the Christmas booze is in there. She refuses to let him out, and when he turns nasty, she makes a mystery phone call. Meanwhile, Fatboy, aka Arthur, has discovered Vincent's open safe and helps himself to a document. And whatever it is, it must be important because Vincent wants it back, fast. Denise is alarmed when she discovers someone in prison has given her address as theirs, and when she finds out who it is, she starts to panic. Next, it's Corey. Robert's doing his best to get Simon to open up, but it's easier said than done. In fact, his behaviour gets worse when he rows with Amy and then throws her against a wall. When Amy tells Tracy, Leanne is called to the Barlows and is forced to confess Simon's been violent towards her, but she vows not to give up on her son. Robert's angry when a jealous Tracy clashes with Leanne and he says she's gone too far. She apologises, but it's half-hearted and typical Tracy, she's soon threatening Leanne again. Leanne takes Simon to counselling, but it's just a waste of time. He refuses to talk. Steph's horrified to find Luke is racing because Jamie's blackmailing him with the nude photos. But she can't tell Andy. She's worried she'll lose him. When Luke refuses to race, Jamie is true to his word and publishes the photos. Luke and Andy decide to confront him while he's with his girlfriend, just to step arise with the police. Gotcha, creep. Gary returns determined to keep his partnership in the gym, despite Alia's pleas. However, Zidane is impressed with Gary's plans, even more so when he throws out an Ardy lookalike who's selling steroids in the gym. Next, it's Emmerdale. Chaz is horrified to hear that Emma's back in the village, so Aaron decides to sleep downstairs to keep her calm but during the night, someone slips in with a knife. She freaks out when she wakes up to find the knife next to her bed, so James and Aaron tell her they'll keep watch outside Emma's house, just in case. That night, Chaz hears a glass smash. She accosts the intruder and stabs them in the dark, only to discover it's tipsy Diane. Diane's rushed to surgery as Chaz has a panic attack and does a runner. The locals assume it was her stalker, and the police want to speak to Emma. Kerry decides to set a honey trap for Bernice, convinced she won't survive in a sexless marriage, and entices Andy to do a strip at her hen Kerry's work is done as Andy and Bernice depart, but Chrissy spots them and tells Lawrence, can their wedding really go ahead? 